These are the fighters of the Al Shabaab Al Mujahideed. They're the hardline wing of the Union of Islamic Courts that briefly controlled Somalia's capital in 2006. They claim they're regrouping and on Wednesday launched an attack on military posts south of Mogadishu. Troops of Somalia's interim government, backed up by Ethiopian forces, face attacks like this on a daily basis. Security officials implicate Al-Shabaab in the assassination of aid workers and in a string of bomb attacks in Mogadishu. Al-Shabaab claim responsibility for a bombing in the port of Basasso earlier this week that killed 20 people. They said they were targeting Ethiopian soldiers, but the region's governor said the bombers missed their targets and killed only poor immigrants. Another bomb killed at least eight women who were on a bus south of Mogadishu. Eyewitnesses suggest the bomb was detonated by remote control and again missed its target because seconds later a truck packed with government troops passed the scene. More than 6,500 people have been killed in fighting in Somalia in the last 12 months. This followed the ousting of the Islamic Courts Union from power in Mogadishu by combined Ethiopian and Somali government forces. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.